please. Allow me to show you something. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. We are here in New York City. I just spat all over the camera, but I'm gonna keep rolling. Ready to do it again? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are here in New York City about to do another custom. This week we're doing a pair of Pro Skate Vans. They're my favorite shoes to wear, but the bottoms are not. So, we're gonna do a whole revamp of them, make a whole Pika Army on the bottom, and make them dope. Let's head to the studio. Hey guys, we are here in the studio. If you wanna learn how to prep your shoes, please look at the previous video. As you can see, I'm getting the white base coat ready for painting. I'm gonna mix in some Too Soft and some paint thinner just to help that go through the airbrush a little bit better. And the Too Soft is to help the paint stick to the fabric and also so that when you're walking, the paint doesn't crack. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're getting the entire bottom portion of the shoe and all the places that you're gonna paint white. We're gonna to try to get a clean, even coat all throughout the shoe, making sure you're getting like all the little patterns on the bottom and the little diamond patterns on the toe cap, but trying your hardest not to do at an angle in which the paint will get under the tape and ruin uh, the black part of the shoe that we're trying to keep black in this custom. As I was doing the base coat, I noticed that the Vans logo on the back was still attached, so I took an X-Acto knife and started kind of cutting off both the logos that I'm gonna glue back later. To make those edges smooth uh, for painting, I went ahead and took out my rotary tool. You can also use a Dremel, but this tool is a little bit cheaper and one I really, really like to use. So I cleared away and smoothed out the backs of the shoe with a sanding bit and then went ahead with the next step. After the back was smooth, I went ahead and covered everything white and moved on to the next step. For this next part, I went ahead and made uh, some rectangle stencils, laying down three at a time and then taking out the one in the middle. That way they're perfectly spaced. You can definitely get the same effect with some thin masking tape that you can probably pick up at your local hardware store or on the Amazon link down below. Now you're gonna wanna mix up your black paint, same as the white, except this one's gonna have an extra step. You're gonna take your black, your Too Soft, your paint thinner, and your dollar. That's gonna make your paint just a little bit less shiny, so it gives it more of a matte effect. It just looks nicer on shoes. You're gonna shake up the paint really well, mix it in your airbrush. For mixing the airbrush, you can put your finger over the airbrush, slightly pull back on the nozzle to let some air pressure get into the paint, and it'll bubble up, and that's the way I mix my paint, along with a little toothpick, a little stir it up, and it's nice and good to go. Now you're gonna apply this paint on your shoe, making sure that just like the white paint, you get all around full coverage, but not going at weird angles, so the paint doesn't get underneath the tape and behind the stencils. Once the paint's dry, go ahead and cover up all the black so we can get it ready for a next color. Our next color is gonna be Pikachu Yellow. To prepare the paint, we're gonna do the same steps that we did for the black. Now we're moving on to the Pikachu's. We're gonna first cut out the stencils, separating them from the others, and we're gonna apply some transfer tape, being very cautious not to rush this portion because all those little tiny details in this Pikachu Customs are really, really important. So applying the tape from the center and then squeezing it out to the outside and then applying it to the shoe, making sure the most important parts are visible.
make sure you go ahead and save whatever black paint you have left for the stencils later and write down your measurements for the proper color mixture. While applying the Pikachu's Customs on the bottom, make sure that you cover up all of the yellow spaces you want to remain yellow and careful that the stencil does not push against the other stencils, messing up the Pikachu's you laid on the side. Now applying the black paint on the Pikas, make sure, like before, but even more cautious, that we're putting in lighter coats and aiming straight forward on the Pikas to make sure the paint doesn't go underneath it and give it a really, really sloppy effect. We're not going for clean lines with this custom because we're looking for more of a spray paint effect, but you still wanna capture those fine details. If you wanna go for a more clean line custom and you're not feeling the spray paint, you want to go ahead and use a fine detailed brush to kind of go over and go over the stencil still using light coats because if you go in too heavy the paint will bulk up and bunch up and it'll just drip behind the stencils and it'll just look terrible going on to the most epic part of the custom it's taking off all the tape and all the stencils and revealing that nice paint job hidden behind it before doing this step i went ahead and hit it with the heat gun to make sure that the paint was really dry and that all the adhesive behind the tape and the stencils doesn't really stick to the shoe and leaving that like nasty glue effect so when peeling back the stencils you want to make sure that you're pulling really closely and slowly with the shoe pulling it back and then removing some of those extra little fine details off the pikas, you want to head and maybe use a pair of tweezers. I uh, have a pair of weeding tools that have come really, really handy. You can get a couple of cheap ones on Amazon that do a great job. If you want to use all the same tools I use, you can find all of them in the description box below. If you thought this custom was pika awesome, go ahead and leave me a like and a comment down below. To catch them all, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. I will see you guys in the next video this coming Saturday. Pika out. When coming up with this custom, I thought it was going to be really simple. And in fact, when I was explaining it to my wife, I was telling her how simple this is probably going to be. It's just two different colors. We're just doing the bottoms this time. Uh, it's not going to be super complicated, but I still always give myself uh, some space, some gap to kind of prepare for anything I didn't see ahead of time. And I did not realize how much could go wrong with this custom. When designing the Pikas, um, I had designed over 25 Pikas at least. I can't even remember the exact number, but it was a lot of Pikas trying to figure out and clean them up and making sure they're ready for stencils. And then when actually printing out the stencils, um, out of all 25, I think only two were salvageable. Once I finally got the Pikas ready and the Pikas were finally working, um, getting them to transfer over to the shoe was also a huge pain in the butt. In fact, one of the bigger Pikas, baby, can you, you pass me that pink sheet with the one, one of these ones over there, the one that we had to like a little hodgepodge. We almost did this. So like this is um, uh, three different Pikas that we had like Frankenstein into one that we're gonna use for the bottom of the shoe. And I'm really, really happy with the result we got. But like, for example, even right now, as I'm recording this video, like something else that went wrong is the fact that we have like construction going on outside. So right now you might hear randomly throughout the video, like dude stuck and outside, like orale, and hajiko, and like all that stuff going on outside. And I gotta say that when all this was going down, I knew it was gonna be good because the best stuff comes from when you get like resistance and pressure. When it comes down, like even our wedding is the same situation. It's a much drastically different thing, but anything that could have gone wrong, <laughs> went wrong. We're about to, about to have a, a wedding in the backyard, but things turned around by the grace of God. Same thing with his custom. So these customs are dope. 
But I just want to share with you guys a little bit of like some of the backstory behind this custom and why it's probably going to be one of my most cherished customs because of all the stuff that went down. I think it's just more of like an encouragement to say like if you have an idea and you want to get it done, don't stop. Like when you hit the first roadblock or the second or the third, I think Thomas Edison failed at building a light bulb like over a thousand times. But whatever it is that's in your heart that you want to create, I want to say go for it. And if you're getting resistance, go for it even harder because maybe that's a sign that the best things are right on the other side of this battle. Dope, cut it. Dope, cut it. <laughs>